Shu, or Lady Bu, was born a commoner in Huayin and was related to the Wu minister, Bu Zhu. She lived with her mother in Lujiang until Sun Tzu conquered the land in 199 and they had to take refuge in Jiangdong. Lian was noticed by Sun Tzu's younger brother, Sun Quan, as he crossed the Yangtze River and was immediately captivated by her beauty. Sun Quan made Lady Bu his concubine on the spot. With how sudden the decision was, many claim that it was love at first sight. Out of all of his wives, Lady Bu received most, if not all, of Sun Quan's utter attention and was granted several luxuries. Lady Bu was known to be very accepting towards Sun Quan's other wives and she did not show any signs of jealousy towards them. She even encouraged Sun Quan to have a bigger harem, which won her her husband's favor in the long term. In 229, when Sun Quan declared himself King of Wu, he wanted to instate Lady Bu as the Queen. However, his vassals protested this choice since Lady Shu was the one who gave birth to his heir. Sun Quan ultimately agreed with this nomination, but within the palace, everybody would still refer to Lady Bu as Empress. Sadly, the real-life Lian Shi died in 238, a full 14 years before her husband did, and a mere 16 years into Wu's 58-year history. The game version, however, outlives her husband by quite a few years, presumably as she is a more fictionalised version of a real person than most of the other characters, Omega Force decided, with their greater degree of freedom with the character, to use her as a stand-in for the soon heirs that collapsed against Jin, as they really didn't have anybody else for that role. Lian Shi was designed and implemented to specifically be a love interest for Sun Quan, and thus was designed to have a more adult figure compared to the other ladies of Wu, who are, shall we say, a lot more petite by comparison. Her facial features and voluptuous form were designed with hopes to personify her as the most mature female in the cast. To make up for her lack of military training, they decided to associate her with the crossbow. Obviously, and in the eyes of some fans, unfortunately, that didn't stick. She makes her debut in Dynasty Warriors 7 as one of Sun Zhang Zhang's elite female servants. These maids were trained in martial arts and sword fencing and were always near Lady Zhang Zhang's side. During the night of Liu Bei's wedding with the Sun Princess, the couple retired to Zhang Zhang's living quarters, and upon entering, Liu Bei was taken aback by the amount of weapons and armed servants, with the lady's personal handmaiden assuring him that they are no threat to him. So Lian Shi doesn't just represents Sun Quan's lover and empress, she's also based off of the concept of Lady Zhang Zhang's bodyguards. And we have seen the Sun maids before prior to Dynasty Warriors 7. And she becomes the emotional thread that links Sun Quan and Zhang Zhang, who are usually at odds with one another. She acts as emotional support for the Wu siblings after Sun Tzu's death. She is also shown partnering up with Lu Xun and Lu Meng, and even Ding Feng after Sun Quan's death. And even though the real-life Zhang Zhang took her female bodyguards with her when she married Liu Bei, the Wu princess leaves Lian Shi behind in the games. Which makes sense, considering it would be at odds with Lian Shi's portrayal as Sun Quan's lover. And of course, we can't forget about her rivalry with Gen Ji. It's only natural after all, since both of their husbands are arch enemies. However, unlike their husbands, there is no fire and ice dynamic between the two ladies, as Lian Shi's main element is water, which complements Sun Tzu's fire theme. When his emotion, his passion, burns too brightly, she's there to help him simmer down as the voice of reason. Although they do have opposing personalities, with one being kind and nurturing, while the other is haughty and hostile. Her desire to protect those close to her is also reflected in her gameplay, as she's one of the few warriors to have a Muso attack, Blessed Rain in this case, that heals allied units on top of damaging enemies. Lady Bu was Sun Quan's wife for 10 years, and during that time she gave birth to two daughters. Sun Lu Ban and Sun Lu Yu. Unfortunately, she would pass away soon after, leaving a heartbroken Sun Quan to lament not making her his official empress. My empress, though you are my support and my divine right to rule, you may not know how orderly the heaven and earth became with your presence. Everyone, the subjects, the public, and people near and far had their hearts moved by you. The land is not united within my rule, and I did not want to permit an empress so soon. But, ever so suddenly, you left this world. It 
pains me so much that I did not grant this title while you were alive. Right now, I am sending the order to make you Empress. If by some chance should the title reach your soul, would you be able to rejoice? I honestly feel remorseful. Hi, I'm the Fourth Snake, and I'd like to thank Drake for having me back on the show again. Liancha is my favourite character in Dynasty Warriors, so I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be involved with this episode in particular. If you're somehow not sick of my voice, my accent, my delivery yet, then might I recommend my show, Wasted Potential, the show where I discuss the wasted potential of various plotlines. The first episode is about Sophitia Alexandra from Soul Calibur. And, and it's Warriors related because Sophitia was in Warriors Orgy 3 Ultimate, so it does count, right? No snake, but thanks for trying anyway. Cue that outro! See?